Seven Stripes by David Shannon. Camilla Cream loved lima beans, but she never ate them. All of her friends hated lima beans, and she wanted to fit in. Camilla was always worried about what the other people thought of her. Today, she was fretting more than usual. This is the first day of school, and I need to impress everyone. Why did I even buy this? Ugh. It was the first day of school, and she couldn't decide what to wear. There were so many people to impress. She tried on 42 outfits, but none seemed quite right. She put on a red and black dress and looked into the mirror. Her mother ran into the room, and she screamed too. Dang, you're so ugly. I mean, oh heavens, you're completely covered in stripes. What? This was certainly true. Camilla was striped from head to toe. She looked like the rainbow. I don't feel anything. Let me get the thermometer just to check. Do you feel all right? She asked. I, I, f I feel fineish, but... Camilla answered. Uh, but just look at me. What is everyone going to say at school? I, I look like a lollipop. Stay in bed. You can't go to school looking like this. All the moms are going to ask questions. You can't go. Camilla was relieved. She didn't want to miss the first day of school, but she was afraid of what the other kids would say, and she had no idea what to wear with those crazy stripes. That afternoon, Dr. Bumble came to visit Camilla. Most extraordinary. I've never seen anything like it. Are you having any coughing? No. Sneezing? No. Runny nose? No. Aches? No. Pain? No. Uncle Trouble twitching? No! I... I feel fine. Well then, I don't see why she can't go to school tomorrow. Here's some ointment that should help with these stripes. If they don't help it go away, you know where to find me. And off he went. I have to go to school now. The next day was a disaster. Everyone at school laughed at Camilla. Uh, I need a little help over here. There's a girl with crazy strikes, and she's, I'm not sure what to do with her. They called her. Hey, Camilla Crayon! <laughs> And they called her. The living lollipop. <laughs> she tried her best to act as if everything were normal, but when the class said the Pledge of Allegiance, her stripes turned red, white, and blue, and broke out in stars. Look, we got two flags. Oh! The other kids thought this was great. One yelled out. Let's see some purple polka dots. Sure enough, she turned all polka dotty. Someone else shouted. Let's see Camilla checkerboard. Just like before, a pattern of squares covered her skin. Soon, everyone was calling out different shapes and colors. Give me a tic tac toe board. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Why? Oh, look how goofy! Look how goofy! Yeah. How, yeah. how, yeah. how about some zigzag stripes? No. 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 Come on! Yeah. 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 I could go for some rainbow sprinkles, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's all goofy. Poor Camilla went on that way for the rest of the day, changing faster than you can change channels on a TV. No! That night, Mrs. Harms, the school principal, called. Hello? Hi, uh, is this Mr. and Mrs. Creams? I'm the school principal, Mrs. Harms. And I'm very sorry to inform you this, but Camilla, she can't stay at school. She has to stay home. Why? She, she's just too distracting. I've been getting calls all day from people. They're so worried of, their, of your daughter. Those stripes, they might be contagious. Camilla was so embarrassed. She couldn't believe that two days ago, everyone liked her.
Now, nobody wanted to be in the same room with her. Her father tried to make her feel better. Is there anything else I can get you, dear? No. What she really wanted was a nice plate of lima beans, but she had been laughed at enough for one day. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, yes, I see. Not a lot in school. Many different patterns? <sighs> I think I'd better bring in the specialist. About an hour later, Dr. Momo arrived with four people in long white coats. He introduced them to Dr. Grob. Dr. Sponge. Dr. Cricket. And Dr. Young. And the specialists want to work on Camilla. They squeezed. And they jabbed. And they tapped. And they tested. It was very uncomfortable for poor Camilla. Well, it's not the mumps. Concluded Dr. Groff. It's not the measles. Replied Dr. Sponge. Definitely not chickenpox. Put in Dr. Cricket. All solar erythema. Observed Dr. Young. Try these, said the specialist, handing her a bottle filled with different colored pills. Take one of each before bed, said Dr. Groff. One by one, they filed out of the room. That night, Camilla took her medicine. It was awful. She was tossing and turning all through the night. When she woke up the next morning, so she did feel different, but when she got dressed, her clothes didn't fit her right. She looked in the mirror, and there, staring back at her, was a giant multicolored pill with her face on it. Mom! Yes, dear? <gasps> Dad! What happened? That is improbable! That's impossible! This means we must bring in... The experts! Dr. Rumble rushed over as soon as Mrs. Cream called. But this time, instead of the specialists, he brought the Camilla, experts. I'm going to introduce you to the best scientific minds in the land. Dr. Gord and Mr. Mellon. Once again, Camilla was examined. The experts wrote down a lot of numbers. Then they huddled together and whispered. It might be a virus, said Dr. Gord, breaking the silence. Suddenly, fuzzy little virus balls appeared all over Camilla. Or possibly some form of bacteria, interjected Mr. Mellon. Then out popped squealy little bacteria tails. Or maybe, possibly, it could be... Uh, uh, a fungus? Instantly, Camilla was covered with different colored fungus blotches. The experts looked at Camilla, then at each other. We need to go with some num numbers in the, in the lab, uh. Mr. Mellon explained. Uh, uh, what color you when we know something? But the experts didn't have a clue. Much less it here. By now, the TV news had found out about Camilla. Reporters from Every channel were outside her house, telling the story of... The bizarre case of the incredible changing kid. The seven wonders of the world may now be eight. She can change into any color or design. How extraordinary. Camilla, Camilla, please. Come outside and show the world your gift, as some may say. Soon, a huge crowd was camped out on the front lawn. The creams were swamped with all kinds of remedies from the professionals who swore they had the cure. There was a psychologist. The solution is hidden in your mind. Try this! Suddenly, she sprouted crystals. Next was an allergist. No, what she needed to try is natural rum. Hey! Then she sprouted berries. 
and Herbalist was sure she had the solution. No, no, no. All these other remedies will not work. What you need to do is go organic. Next, Camilla sprouted roots. Then, a nutritionist stopped by. No, no, no! Exercise is a healthy solution! And then, Camilla sprouted feathers. Even a veterinarian came with a reported remedy. Now, what you need to do is get in touch with your primal side. And before you knew it, a long furry tail sprouted. Each so-called cure only added to poor Camilla's strange appearance until it was hard to even recognize her. But nothing worked. Then one day, a woman named Celeste, who called herself an environmental therapist, claimed she could cure Camilla. Um, like, close your eyes, breathe deeply, and, like, become one with your room. She said while beating a djembe. I wish you hadn't said that. Suddenly she melted into the walls of the room. Her bed became her mouth, her nose was a dresser, and two paintings were her eyes. <coughs> the therapist screamed and ran from the house. <gasps> what are we gonna do about this? This keeps getting worse and worse! Just then, a light tapping came from the front door. Who is that? that? Excuse me, little family. There stood an old lady who was just as plump and sweet as a strawberry. I think I have a solution for you. May I please see poor Camilla? She came into Camilla's room and looked around. My goodness, what do we have here? This is the worst case of stripes I've ever seen. She started going through her big bag and pulling out all Not sorts this. of things. Not this Ah, this might do the trick. Are those magic beans? Oh my, no. There's no such thing. These are just plain old lima beans. I bet you like some, wouldn't you? Camilla wanted a big heaping plate full of lima beans more than just about anything, but she was still afraid to admit it. Yuck, no one likes lima beans, especially me. Oh dear, well, I guess I was wrong about you. She put the beans back in her bag and started toward the door. Camilla watched the old lady walk away. Those beans would taste so good. And being laughed at for eating them was nothing compared to what she's been going through. She finally couldn't stand it. Wait, wait, wait. The truth is, I, I really love lima beans. I thought so. I would really love some lima beans! I bet you would. The old woman said with a smile. She took a handful of beans and popped them into Camilla's mouth. Mm. Suddenly, the room began to shake. All of the branches, feathers, and squiggly tails began to disappear. I created this horrendous curse! I knew the real you was in there somewhere. Then as quick as a wink, she smiled and vanished into thin air. Afterward, Camilla wasn't quite the same. Some of the kids at school said she was weird, but she didn't care a bit. She ate all the lima beans she wanted, and she never even had a touch of the stripes again. That's why you should be comfortable in your own skin, or else you will find yourself with the bad case of the stripes.
by the walls. <laughs> 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 bloopers. <laughs>